Hey friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. In this video, I would like to share my plan of how to approach CDMP exam. I have recently registered for this exam and I have 12 months of time to appear for the exam. However, I, I want to do it as soon as possible. The area covered for the exam is so vast and uh, we need to cover a lot. So we should have a systematic approach to the exam. So let me explain you how I have done so far. Then uh, we can actually uh, follow this approach if you would like. So I have registered my exam in the portal and I have come up with a 16 weeks of study plan and I have printed the Dama DMB OK second edition revised uh, PDF file. So when you register for the exam, um, you have some privileges. You are able to log into the portal and uh, you are able to see the certification that you have registered. I have registered for Dama Data Management Fundamental ESL version. See so if you are a non-English speaking uh, professional, you can go for ESL and uh, which will allow you to have 120 minutes the exam otherwise the normal exam is a 90 minutes exam so as i registered now it can, i can prepare for the exam and uh, then i can practice exam i can take your exam within our uh, stipulated time frame and what i can do after the exam as you understand we have associate uh, level practitioner level and master level if you pass with the 60 percentage, you can have associate. If you pass with 70 percentage and you can do some add two additional specialist exam, you can become a practitioner. And if you take 80 percentage pass mark and uh, do another two exams with um, 80 percentage and above, then you can become a master. Yeah, that is about the certification registration. Coming to the practice exam basically you have a unlimited options to keep practicing so we can become familiar ways with the concepts and uh, the exam patterns so it is basically a it is gauging your level of knowledge and you can familiarize with the format and weightings and you can have the speed you can practice and gain speed there are 40 randomly selected questions and 36 minutes. You are getting uh, 54 seconds, so even less than a minute uh, for each question. And um, you can, and you, in order to access your practice exam, you can uh, you can go to the quiz and you know again itself. I have already completed uh, the fourth uh, four times, trying fifth time. It's matter of uh, it's a quiz and. Uh, just to quickly show you and you know when you start you have you have the 40 questions go one by one okay so that's all about the quiz part and uh, um, so the first part uh, of uh, uh, registering the exam is uh, done so when you have registered your exam Next is, of course, you have, I know I already mentioned like this open book exam. You have 12 months to take your exam. So you need to have, I would like to complete as soon as possible. So without a plan, basically not possible. So I have come up with a 16 week study plan. Let me explain you what is my study plan. So I have a 16 week uh, distribution, week one. I focus on data management process. It's going to give you 2% of uh, weightage in the exam and the questions is comparatively very uh, less uh, to compare to the other uh, subject areas. So it talks about end-to-end -end management of data, including collection, control, protection, delivery, and enhancement. My status is 100%. Then week two, I will be focusing on data ethics, which is again, two percentage of uh, weightage in the exam so you can code of conduct 
encompassing data handling algorithms and other practices to ensure that data is used uh, appropriately in any in a in a, in the system the week 3 is a data governance it's a quite important topic so it's covering 11 percentage and you practice and process to ensure uh, formal management of data assets that's uh, governance the week 4 i will go with the data quality again that is uh, 11 percentage coverage it's all about the uh, the data quality completeness consistency integrity timeliness uniqueness variety and accessibility all then coming to the data modeling and design the week 5 again that's the 11 percentage weightage week 6 is metadata management again that's also an important topic and uh, week 7 is master and reference uh, data management is uh, going to have 10 percentage so you can always uh, come back and uh, add your uh, add your comments or progress and you can even amend the timelines and week 8 it is a data warehousing and the business intelligence that's also 10 percentage so the important topics we have uh, we could cover now and uh, now week 9 is a document and content management this is only six percentage and week 10 is data integration and interoperability that's six percentage and week 11 is data architecture six percentage weightage and data security is the week 12 that's six percentage and data storage and operation also six percentage and finally we have big data that's just two percentage as our initial topics and week 15 uh, we can continue with the practice text and uh, of course after every subject area coverage you should uh, go with the practice test and week 16 uh, you can go for appearing the exam i believe this is a good time and of course it depends on our work uh, we need to adjust our timeline so that is about my uh, about my planning uh, for the exam so when you are ready with your registration when you are ready with your plan next you need enough content to refer right so for this CDM exam there is only one book that is dama tm bok is a revised edition i have a pdf file and i just took a printout and you know this is a, a 600 pages of a, a pdf so it's quite quite vast in order to help you uh, you can use sticky notes to separate uh, the um, subject areas for example this is the data storage and operations and if you want to look at uh, some other topic look at this is a data modeling and design put some kind of sticky notes so you have a separation between the topics and um, also uh, as you read through you can highlight the uh, important uh, points okay important areas topics so it's an open book it will always uh, help you uh, quickly spot the, um, the keywords okay so this is how i started my uh, learning i believe with uh, 16 weeks of effort uh, uh, i will be able to um, yeah complete the certification so please uh, share your thoughts if you have a different approach let me know if there is an easier way let me know because we have just started early so there is a long way to go and if you would like to need any help and um, uh, uh, we can share each other so what i'm thinking is like uh, going through each uh, each uh, subject area or try to come up with uh, with a summary i will share with you uh, as a follow-up so end of this uh, this i will be having uh, enough uh, content to share with you uh, to just guide you i'm not expert for sure in this area but i believe like um, learning and uh, teaching and really help us um, master it and remember it so if you are planning cdmp i wish you all the best uh, thank you very much like and subscribe this uh, channel if you would like to know more about uh, cdmp thank you very much